Hi, my name is Anne-Marie and I'm in the military reserve. We're going to do a set of exercises drawn from the Canadian Armed Forces training program. These exercises will get you in shape and tone your body from head to toe. Before we start, we're going to warm up. Roll your shoulders, swing your arms and legs and bring your knees up to get the blood flowing. Now let's start with some jumping jacks. We're going to start two feet apart, arms at your side. You're going to make a jump and bring your arms above your head. That's one jumping jack. Make sure to not bend your elbows or your knees. If it's too difficult, do less reps. If it's too easy, add a squat. I will show you. Now let's keep our heart rate pump and let's do some squats. With feet parallel, arms to the side, we're gonna go down and we want the thighs to be parallel to the ground. The idea is to sit on a chair. We wanna keep a back straight, our knees on top of our toes. If it's too difficult, go halfway down. Don't go all the way down. If it's too easy, add a side kick. Now, continuing with lower body toning, we're gonna do front and rear lunges. On the side, hands on hips. We're gonna take a giant step forward. We wanna have 90 degree angles on both legs. We take a giant step back. We do the same thing with the other leg. If it's too difficult, you only do the front at the same time. So you make eight to 10 reps in front. After you do eight to 10 reps in the back. If it's too easy, you hold the position for 10 seconds. Giant step forward and hold for 10 seconds. Let's move to some back and core toning. Bend the knees slightly, tilt the torso forward, and bring the arms to shoulder height. Hold that position for six seconds. After, for position two, bring the arms to the ears and hold that position for six seconds. Position three, you bring your arms to your sides and you hold that position for six seconds. For this move, it is very important to keep your core engaged and your spine neutral. If it gets too easy, you do 10 seconds. If it gets too hard, you do three seconds for each position. Now let's move to some hip mobility. Hands on the hips, lift the knee to your right and make full circles with your knee. Do the same thing on the other side. Lift the knee up. Make sure to keep your back straight and your chin up. Now let's get our heart rate going again. We're gonna imagine there's a line on the floor and we're gonna run over it by making fast steps. We wanna engage the arms and go very fast. Now let's go down to the floor to do push-up plank inverted V. We're gonna start in a plank position. We're gonna go down. And we're gonna make an inverted V. If it gets too difficult, drop on your knees and do the same thing.
Now let's finish with the side plank. Arm on the floor. Rise your hips. Make sure your feet are tight together and you hold that position for 20 seconds. Make sure your core is tight and your neck is aligned with your spine. If it's too difficult, you drop and you use your knees to lift your hips. If it's too easy, hold it longer. Thank you very much for working out with us today. For best results, do this workout two to three times per week. Good job today. It was a pleasure working with you all.